Hey, AP students, this is Mr. Heinrich. We're looking at another progress check from AP Classroom, and this one is Unit 1, Number 4. So we've got a boat that's crossing a river of width distance D. The boat has a constant speed of V-naught in the Y-axis, but in the X-axis, we have a river velocity. And because of that river velocity, the boat doesn't simply go straight across. It would go off diagonally, being pulled downstream, and it would achieve a distance x naught on the opposite bank. So part A, the speed of the river increases and the boat again crosses the river. Is the new horizontal distance x1 traveled by the boat while crossing the river greater than, less than, or equal to x naught? Justify your answer using qualitative reasoning beyond referencing equations. So we have to be descriptive. No problem. Let's go ahead and check the correct answer. x1 is greater than x naught. So it should make sense if my river velocity increases, the boat's going to go further downstream before getting to the opposite bank, thus achieving a greater distance x1. And if you wrote a response like that, that would be good. Uh, but AP wants to hear a little bit more about the other parameters like v naught and distance d. So here we go. This is what I would say. With the other parameters being held constant, the width of the river distance d, the boat velocity v naught, and the time to cross the river, comma, an increase in river velocity would result in the boat drifting further downstream and achieving a greater distance on the opposite bank, x1, versus its previous distance, x naught. So something like that. They want to know that you understand the other parameters are held constant so that way when this is affected it would clearly affect the dependent variable which is that distance on the opposite bank all right let's go on to part b starting with a kinematic relationship derive an expression for the horizontal distance x naught traveled by the boat while the boat crosses the river express your answers in terms of v naught vr d and physical constants as appropriate Begin your derivation by writing a fundamental physics principle or an equation from the reference booklet. So there's a picture of what we got going on. We can develop a system of equations because I have both y motion and x motion. If you recall, we've been given these ideas to express our answer in, and what they want from us is to find x naught. For the x-axis, you would want to look at this equation, delta x equals v naught t plus one-half ax t squared. And we'd also want to do this for the y-axis. And for the y-axis, we'd say delta y equals v naught t plus one-half ay t squared. And to be consistent, I should call this the initial x-velocity and the initial y velocity. All right, let's personalize these equations for these two independent axes. So x naught would be inputted for delta x. Our initial x position is zero. Our final x position is x naught. So you could say the entire displacement, if you will, is x naught. Equals my initial velocity in the x axis is my river velocity times time, plus, I already stated, these are constant velocities, and therefore, we can cross out acceleration. So there's my first expression, and by the way, it has the term that I'm looking for, and it's already including variables that I'm allowed to use in my answer. Now let's do the same thing for the y-axis. So for the y-axis, my entire y displacement would be distance d. Again, my initial y position is zero, and as I go to the opposite side, we could call that final y position distance d. So let's just put in d for delta y. Equals, what's your initial y velocity? Isn't that the boat's constant velocity across the river? That's in the y axis. So I'd put in v naught t plus, who cares, right? This is a constant velocity, we cross out acceleration. All right, so we're pretty much there. Let's rearrange our equations. 
I'd say x naught is equal to vr times t. But what is t in terms of the things that I know? Well, turn your attention to your y equation. Solve this for t. Divide both sides by v naught. And I flipped it around. So t is d over v naught. And let's plug that in for the t that we see right here. d over v naught. And that's your final answer because it has all the things they asked for. Part C, justify whether your derived equation in part B is or is not consistent with your reasoning in part A. It is consistent. So I would start off by saying my reasoning in part A stated that as the river velocity increased, a greater distance x1 would be achieved down the river bank, period. Looking back at the equation developed, x naught equals vr times t. If vr increases, x naught would increase, period. And that's it. So notice I didn't reference the equation x naught equals vr times d over v naught, right? So again, real fast, if you want to hear it one more time, my reasoning in part A was that if the river velocity increased, I would achieve a greater distance x1 versus x0. Looking at the equation x0 equals vr times t, if I increase vr, x0 would increase because they are directly proportional, period. There you go. I hope that helped. Go ahead and like and subscribe. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.